What's up YouTube? It's First Shift. Uh, today I'm doing a quick video for any of you people out there or any of my subscribers that are having trouble with getting the keyboard on 3.0 or 3.0.1. I'm going to install it just the way it would come out of Cydia. So, first thing we'd want to do is go to Cydia. Let Cydia load. And this is just a, a updated video for any of you people out there are having trouble or any of my sub subscribers. I want to make this easy as possible. So I'm going to do it from the very start to the very end. So um, first thing I'd want you to do is go to more package sources which is right there let it load and slide down till you get to here I access as you see I'd want you to install now I've already installed that because it takes forever to load but uh, go ahead and install that next you would go down to search and we're going to type in IACC so all you need to type IACC. Next, did you see right here it says iAccess OS3 and install that. Now I just did this. I haven't even clicked into it for me. So uh, once you've installed this and it restarts your uh, iPhone or iPod Touch, you're at the same spot I am. The only reason I installed it so far was just to save a little time because it does take. You know, you do have to restart your Springboard and it really does all that. So. I just went ahead and did it to save a little time, but once that's installed and your springboard comes back up, we're at the same spot. So once that restarts your springboard, you'll be back at the beginning of your iPhone or iPod Touch. And we're going to do this step by step because I'm at the same spot as you right now. So if we slide over, you should have this icon right there, iAccess. Now when you click on this, it's going to open. and give it a second to load there and it's going to do this if you hit ok watch what happens kicks you out cool that's all we wanted to do so all i want you to do is turn your iphone pod or your iphone completely off and restart it once it's completely off And just let that turn off and we'll reboot our iPhone or iPod Touch. Okay, now it's completely off. Just go ahead and turn it back on. I just wanted to do this video to help all you people out there. You know, like I said, if you guys are having issues, <clears throat> I'm here to help you any way possible. So if I have to do a video three times, four times I don't care how many times so it works for you guys that's what I'm here for you know I'm not here to get all the subscribers or all the people I just want to help out everybody the same way that other people have helped me out and I've had to learn along the way I just want to make it easier for you guys so let it load here okay now as you see it's back on Slide on over to I access. Now when I click in it, watch what happens. It's going to bring up the same message, but when you hit OK, you get to stay in the program. So now that you're in the app, you have all these that are uh, labeled on. Watch what I do. I'm going to turn them all off. Okay, they are all completely off except for the top one, right there. Go ahead and exit out of it, and you're through. Next thing we're going to do, in my more info section, I will have a complete themed keyboard 
that I got off of a form. And all I, you're going to do is drag and drop this into Winterboard. So let's get into our SSH or whatever you use to get into your iPhone or iPod Touch. We'll come to our computer. And we're going to log in. Okay, now in my more info section, as you see, I have them right here. It's called First Storm. You'll get a zip file. I want, all I want you to do is unzip it, and you'll get this file right here. Again, it's called First Storm, as you see right there. So, once you have SSH'd, backspace once, slide down to Stash, and depending on where you save everything, mine's on my desktop. Got it right here, first storm. All I'm going to do is drag and drop that into my themes and copy it in there and close out of my SSH. And we'll come back to the iPod Touch, close out of this, go to my winter board. As you see right there, it says first storm. I'm going to check it and close out of winter board. And back on my uh, springboard here after winter board has finished reloading. If I slide over to show you, as you see, it's going to look like a regular keyboard. Okay, so as you see in my uh, winter board, I do have it checked, which is right there. So to get this to work, all you will do now listen up. See this little globe? All I want you to do is hit that globe. Boom, look at there. You got a themed keyboard on 3.0 or 3.0.1. So this is just showing you how to do it. You know, a lot of you guys were having issues and you wanted this themed keyboard. So I just did it from start to finish to show you it does work and it's easy to get. And all you have to do is drop this first storm file into your winter board. And go down here to the globe, as you see right there. Hit that globe, and it's themed after it's set on Winterboard. So this is just showing you how to get it, and you'll have this whole entire theme right here on your iPhone or iPod Touch. So this is First Shift. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And uh, like I said, I'll do any video to help anybody out more than once if that's what it takes. Because uh, we all got to learn, and we all got to figure it out together. We all got to work together. So, uh, again, you can follow me on Facebook. I'll have a link for that. And uh, please rate, comment, and subscribe. I know this video is going to help at least one person out, so it's done its job. And I'll see you guys soon.